Hello and welcome back to another Camino video. My name is John Roy and today we're going to look at my 2019-2020 Camino packing list. I will be going on the French way and I will be going during the summer. Uh, so this packing list will be specific to that trip. Righto, so let's get right into it. I'm also going to put the weights for everything down below here as I go through them. And I'll also do a total weight at the end so we know exactly how much my pack weighs and you can plan accordingly. Okay, so first and foremost, our backpack. I've got the Osprey Stratos 34 liter. It's perfect size for what you want. It'll fit everything here and then some at the end. It comes included with a rain cover. It's got extra pockets on the top, on the inside, and on the bottom. You can access the bag from the bottom, so it is a fantastic fit for everything. I'll pack the bag at the end here so you can see exactly how I do it. Next up, I've got my raincoat. It's a Helly Hansen raincoat. It's fairly lightweight and it is waterproof. Make sure you have waterproof, not water resistant. This is also going to be used as an extra layer and although I don't anticipate needing it often, it is a safeguard against cold and wet. I will keep this just in case. Then I have a merino wool sweater. I used this on my last Camino as well. I don't have a name brand on it because it was purchased online, but it is perfect for what I need. It is lightweight, quick drying, and antimicrobial. So the next few items I went to Eddie Bauer for because I found the fit of their shirt fit me well, and I like the color options as well. I chose to go with collared shirts because as I use a hip pack, which you'll see later on, I find the strap does not chafe my neck as much when I have a collar to protect it. And because it's something I'm wearing all day long, I want it to be more comfortable. So we've got two button-up shirts from Eddie Bauer. They're synthetic material, so they're gonna dry really quick. This is the same one I wore on my last Camino. I loved it so much, I'm wearing it again. Also from Eddie Bauer, I bought a pair of shorts. Navy blue, simple, quick drying shorts, synthetic fiber again. I have a zip pocket in the side, so I can keep my passport or other things safe. Then I have a pair of Columbia pants that are zip off at the knees so they can become short. They're going to be shorts most of the time, but if I do get colder or in the evenings, I can put the pant legs back on. And that's my two sets of main clothes. And then we've got three pairs of boxers. Uh, one pair is sacks, two pair of Under Armour. They're all great, it depends on what you'd like. And three pairs of socks. Uh, these ones are smart wool and darn tough. Uh, all three great socks, lightweight, quick drying. Merino wool if you can. For my hiking shoes, if you saw my last year's video that was reviewing my gear I used after my Portuguese Camino, you'll see that I didn't like my Columbia Titanium shoes. So I've gone back to a Merrell shoe. I believe these are the Moab Earth hiking shoe and I've already started training with them. I love them so far. They have great support and they're super comfortable right off the start. For my secondary shoe, instead of going with a sandal or a flip-flop this Camino, I've decided to go with a Croc Van style shoe. It's a slip-on, slip-off, completely rubber, so I can wear this in the shower without socks, no problem, and I'll be wearing this at the end of the day. I'm hoping it'll make me look a little bit less like a tourist. And in my last video, I said I wasn't going to bring a hat again because I didn't wear it often, but when I went through the video footage I took from that Camino, Honestly, I did wear it and I did use it and on the French way It's going to be much longer and there's going to be longer periods in the Sun like the Meseta So I am going to bring it with me on my 2020 Camino Also though we have the buffs. I love these buffs I used them both wore one on my head and I put one on my wrist to wipe my brow from sweat They were fantastic. I use them every day and I will keep using them definitely on my next Camino We've got my adventure towel. It's a quick dry microfiber towel, kind of like a ShamWow. It's not a huge beach size, it's a regular size, so it covers all the important pieces and dries you enough. But these things dry out super quick, definitely worth getting. My sunglasses. Uh, these sunglasses are Maui Jim. You find whatever sunglasses work best for you. I recommend finding something that is polarized as you are going to be in the sun for many hours during the day. So instead of a sleeping bag, I'm going with a sleeping bag liner. 
It's made of silk and it's also super light. I love this, I use it on my Portuguese Camino and I didn't look back after switching from a sleeping bag. Then you have a water resistant bag. This is basically a carrier bag or shopping bag that I can put all of my clothes into either for dirty laundry or for going into the shower to keep them dry while I'm in the shower. Uh, because there's almost always a hook that will keep your clothes nearly perfectly dry, it'll be just out of the way. By putting it in this semi-waterproof bag, it will keep them that much more dry and keep it all in one place and clean. A fantastic item that I added last minute for my Portuguese Camino and did not regret. Then I've got my notebook and pen. Sure, you can put this into your phone or your tablet if you have that, but the aesthetic of writing in a notebook each day to save my experiences of the Camino and of my other travels, there's something that I just love about it. So for me, this is a must have. Each person is gonna have some items that they cannot leave behind. I get that. Just make sure you choose them wisely. So of course you're gonna need your passport. You've got your regular passport from your country, in my case Canada, and you've also got your pilgrim's passport, or credential. You need to get this stamped each day along your Camino in order to get your accommodations at night in the albergues or hostels. You can pick up a pilgrim's passport at the pilgrim's office right before your Camino, or at a church in the local town you're starting at, or even your friends of the pilgrim group in your home country. For me, that's the Canadian Company of Pilgrims. So you can get one directly from them at santiago.ca. Then you've got material bags. I say material bags because shopping bags from a grocery store, they rustle, they annoy people late at night and early in the morning. By using material bags, they do not rustle. You'll keep all your friends on the Camino and they're great for keeping everything separated. And of course you're gonna need sunscreen and with all of your toiletries, make sure that you always buy the smallest size. You can buy more along the way, there's lots of places and it'll save you the weight. And then there's your water bottle. I recommend one liter, but you can do two smaller bottles, one on either side of your bag to help even out the weight better. A lot of people like that. Or a lot of people just need a smaller bottle. You don't need a full liter. Personally, I found this is the right amount. It allows me to keep myself hydrated and I can still have enough left over to share with a friend if I need to. As far as electronics go, I did try to keep it at a minimum this time. On my Portuguese Camino last year, I brought some things like my GoPro that I did not need. So I've cut that back. I've got my USB chargeable headlamp. This was a huge help and because it's USB chargeable, I don't have to worry about finding new batteries for it along the route. Great find. So the phone I'm using now is a Samsung Galaxy S8. It's an upgrade a little bit from my last year, but the big difference is it's got a different type of charger. It's got a type C charger now instead of micro USB. So I've had to change my plan a little bit from what I did previously. So I am bringing just my regular charger this time with a type C charging cable. I do have an external USB battery charger. Last time I brought two, only need one. That's more than enough. Of course, I've got to bring my adapter to go from a North American plug to a European plug. And I am bringing micro USB cards as well to go into my phone because I will be taking a lot of video during this trip. And if I'm not able to back it all up to the cloud as I hope to be able to do, this will allow me to keep shooting and not lose any footage along my route. And then my selfie stick of choice is a small no-name brand tripod which has extendable legs. That makes it just long enough with a little attachment for a mobile phone to give myself the space I need to do the vlogging style videos. Or if I like, I can of course set it up on a tripod to do it a little different. This was great on my Portuguese Camino. I wouldn't change a thing, love that. Okay, so moving along, we've got the Swiss Army knife, which is the tourist one. It gives you some great options, a couple knife blades, but most importantly, your corkscrew. You'll always make friends on the Camino with a corkscrew. Earplugs, very important. You're gonna need a few sets, but uh, you can buy more along the way. Just make sure to get the strongest ones you can because the people snoring and making all kinds of other fun bodily noises at night will definitely keep you up if you're sleeping in the albergues or hostels. And bulldog clips. 
Now bulldog clips can be used for many things, but primarily you're going to use them for clothes pins. They will be heavier duty, and because many pilgrims will be using those lines to dry their clothes, you may find there's not enough clothes pins to go around. By bringing your own, I recommend bringing 10, you'll be able to do your full gamut of clothes for the day. Now on the French Way, there's an iron cross at a high point in the Camino, and pilgrims leave a memento, a stone or something, from their home country there at the base of this cross, which represents leaving a burden behind. They leave the burden, the stone, there, and they leave it there and walk away from it. For me, I decided to paint a piece of pottery. It's a scallop shell, which I painted as a Canadian flag on one side and a Nova Scotia flag on the other with my name and the year 2020, which I'll be leaving it there. Also, many people will have a shell, the actual scallop shell, which they have on their bag, maybe from a previous Camino, or maybe they just got it at the beginning of this Camino. For me, I got this on my last Camino, my Portuguese way, but I don't want to carry this again on my bag. It's going to break probably, and it is a little bit heavy. A friend of mine here, Peter, he has started making these. Now this is made out of wood, it's super thin, super light, and it is super fantastic. I love it. I, I gotta get a little closer for this because, yeah. So this is gonna take the place of my scallop shell on my bag. It's gonna go there, it's gonna tell people I'm Canadian, but it's also got that scallop shell symbol. This is so cool, I love it. Thank you, Peter. So, getting into some toiletries now. I'm still debating on which soap to take with me for my next Camino. But for now, as per my previous videos, you know that I love the Lush Shampoo Bars. They actually discontinued the Karma, the green one that I liked before, the scent. So I've switched over to a lemon one, which is great. It's going to be super clean, super fresh smelling, and, uh, and I do like that. Now, I may change my mind on the soap that I use, depending on all my tests of the soap bars I've got. And I'll keep you posted and update the packing list, which I have linked in the description below. So make sure to check that out. Uh, I am going to bring a separate laundry soap. Uh, these are little sheets, thin little sheets of soap. They are perfect for taking and doing your laundry with. Uh, I find they don't leave streaks on your clothes. They're super lightweight, and it's not a liquid, so you don't have to worry about quantities of liquid you're bringing with you on the airplane. We're gonna run quickly through what I have in my first aid kit. Okay, I keep it all in one little thing. As you can hear, I've got some painkillers, I've got some anti-inflammatories in here. I do keep them all in one bottle, but they all look completely different, so I know what they are. But be careful mixing medications, obviously. Don't do it if you don't know what you have. Band-Aids. Yep, you're gonna need band-aids. Uh, I recommend bringing about 20 or so of varying sizes. You're gonna use lots, and you're gonna share some with other people as well when they need them. So bring lots. Uh, you're gonna be using them a lot for blisters. So, in order to handle those blisters, there's lots of different ways that lots of people feel are the best ways, but for me personally, I have found my favorite way to deal with blisters is by piercing it with a needle and leaving it to drain. So bring yourself a bunch of alcohol swabs, wipe down both the blister as well as the needle with the alcohol swab, pierce it all the way through, and then you're gonna put your polysporin or anti-infection cream on the wound, and then put your Band-Aid over top. Leave the Band-Aid on till the following morning, and that should give you the best chance to be able to walk on the foot with the blister the following day. Travel toilet paper. Hopefully you won't need it, but it's best to be prepared for that. You can get a small little roll like that for a couple of bucks, or you can take a roll from home and take the cardboard out of the middle. It's just a little bit heavier. But this, it comes in a plastic case, so it keeps it clean the whole time and dry for you in case you do need it. Lip chat with SPF. Make sure to get some of that. It'll keep your lips happy. Uh, for me, I brought a comb, and I have Travel floss, travel toothpaste, travel toothbrush. Remember, always get the smallest and buy more as you go. Uh, hand sanitizer. I got one that actually can just clip right on the outside of my bag. Super handy, so I can use it every time right before I have a snack. Deodorant. Some people will say it's not worth bringing deodorant on the Camino. To that I say, 
please bring deodorant on the Camino. Um, I understand that it will often melt, it doesn't work very well, but for me, when I get out of the shower at the end of the day, or even first thing in the morning, I'll use a little bit of this roll-on, which I find works great, and it just keeps me feeling a little bit fresher. As it's a roll-on, it won't melt, and this should last you about two weeks, maybe longer. I am bringing my ADH Dry hair product. I will put it in a smaller case so it's not so big and bulky, but this is the product I prefer and I will be taking this on my next Camino because it'll do what I want in the heat. Vicks Vapor Rub. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know how much I love this stuff. I recommend putting this on your feet before you walk in the morning and then as you take breaks through the day, you take off your socks and your shoes, reapply this and then put your socks and shoes back on. It'll keep your feet lubricated and because it's got menthol in it, it'll also keep them feeling fresh. As a side note, if you have a headache, you can put a little bit on your temples and there are many other uses for it as well. I have slight asthma, so I am bringing my ventilator or puffer. Uh, it's not super bad, but it is better to be prepared. My solar powered watch. This is something that I forgot to mention in my last video, but I will wear it everywhere. Sure, you don't need a watch on the Camino, but I like to have one. Uh, it also gives me a really quiet alarm that I can keep really close to my ear and not wake up all the other pilgrims with. So I'm also bringing headphones, but as well in this little case is a lav mic. So it's the same one as I used on my previous Camino. It's a lavalier mic, which is a little wired mic that clips onto my shirt, gives me really great sound while I'm walking on the Camino. That is the goal, and, uh, and those go in a nice little case like that. My tiny little wallet here will keep all of my euros, about 1,500 euros, as well as my international bank card, which works in any of the major bank machines in Spain, and also my MasterCard uh, I will also be bringing with me. Um, most of the other cards I have, my points cards from home and things like that, I'll leave them all here to save me from potentially losing them. Ziploc bags definitely still have a place on the Camino. I'm bringing two big Ziploc bags and 10 small Ziploc bags. I like using them for many different things, from making snacks out of your leftovers for the following day, to ice packs at the end of the day for your knee or your ankle or your feet. It's a great help and they super come in handy and you can wash them and reuse them. Then I've got my hip pack that I mentioned earlier. It's a great little bag by Arterix. It will keep my passports, it'll keep my money, my phone, my spare battery charger, and any other small things I need to keep with me. I can keep it with me at all times so I know it's safe. Right, so that's everything I'm taking with me on my Camino. Now in high speed, I'm gonna show you how I pack this all into my bag. And go! Okay, and that's basically it. Of course, I have to tie the shell on properly, but I'll be wearing this set of clothes here. Of course, wearing one set of clothes, and the other set of clothes will be in the bag. So there we have it. We're all fully packed up, ready to go. That's not too bad at all. Now, let's do a quick weigh-in and see how much the total is. Okay, so because I'll be wearing this as well, we'll weigh both together. For a total of 15 pounds, or about six and a half kilograms. Well, that's it. We're all packed up and ready to go. So, thank you for watching. Please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have some Camino friends you think would like this, please share it with them. Thanks again for watching, and Buen Camino. And that's a wrap, good buddy. <laughs>